Okay, guys. Now we're gonna talk about. Um, before we go into lab eight, I'm gonna talk about file streaming and SRAND. I'm gonna generate a file, an output file, for a program, where is gonna be an input file for another program. The output file is gonna be random data, so I can use it in the input file for the other program. So I'm gonna have program one generate what an output file dot txt using rand and file streaming and the output file is gonna be an input for program two let's say I'm gonna have for example I want to make it as much as similar to the one we took in uh, class where we had blood pressures three four readings each time different readings so here I can say um, I'm gonna have let's say six records of students each student has an uh, n number varying number of grades number of grades so and we have grades so one student might have uh, let's say uh, four grades the other student five so here we'll have four grades 89 100 daddy, uh, daddy I'm, I'm recording daddy what daddy one minute one minute daddy, daddy I just started so let's say we have four grades for one student here's the grade and for another student we have five grades 50 that's for C++ plus plus. four and five and we have six students and I want I want to fill this data into a file using rand it's gonna be random data and then I'm gonna use program 2 which is gonna do let's say averages for each student so first of all we need the include we need the time function include time was it c time or time dot h and I'm gonna use the include what was it CST I think that was it and I'm gonna need the file streaming <coughs> include file stream I might need another library we'll see in a minute if I need it or no so here we're gonna start our program I'm gonna declare what let's take this up here I wanna take all this here Okay, I'm gonna declare let's say integer records or number of students <coughs> integer number of grades subjects let's say subjects classes subject and I'm gonna have integer grade I could have done all those in one and I'm gonna do that better and now 
I need to declare the output file three. and I'm gonna declare it as out data and output file out file, out file stream photo file I need to open it okay out data dot open and remember because this is an output file I don't need to declare it to be declared by itself let's give it any name what name do you want it let's say student when it's an output file it will generate it by default even if it's not there if it was an input file it will give us an error we have to generate the input file because we're reading data from now we're gonna have a for loop on the number of students and let's let's print a message for the user to enter CN or CL sorry enter number of students say here integer i equals one let's make it from one i less or equal records <coughs> how many students we have each record each student is a record so here i have record And now I'll have I plus plus. And now we need to think how we can. I'm gonna generate random numbers. To generate random numbers for uh, both the the number of grades and grades. So I'm gonna use S rand to make it random. Remember, random by itself, it's not random, and I'm gonna use the time as zero. And I'm gonna do right, uh, okay. Now I'm gonna generate the sub how many subject each student, yeah, subject. up equals rand and how many subjects do I want let's make it max what max seven subject so I don't have a zero I added a one mod seven so it's gonna give me numbers this is gonna give me numbers between what one and seven I'm gonna give me eight now I'll make another for loop. Okay, sub is rand rand. And now out data. I want to print that number that we generate to the out stream to the file. Just put it C out. Let's put it for now C out. And show you how I'm gonna convert it. Make it easier on you guys. And do I need an end line? Nope. Okay, I don't want it to take it as a character. So I'll put this. Now I'll declare a for loop here. So this is going to be the body of this one. I'm gonna have 
another for loop it's gonna be the number of grades for each student and this is gonna decide the subjects okay which is the number of grades so I'll put integer j equals one let's start it with one okay no problem <coughs> and j is less or equal sub for each student and j plus plus and now what I need to do I've got the subject grade I need to generate also random numbers which is grade equals rand and I want to make them between I don't want to make them between 0 and 100 I want to make them between 50 and 100 so I'll put mod 50 1 plus 50 so this will give me a range of numbers between 50 and 100 which is gonna represent the grades and this is gonna represent uh, how many topics or subjects how many I'll get the grade here I can say C out grade and let's make space just between them do I need anything else okay I just want to file to generate a file all I need is to generate a file and here I can say see out and line and now I'll close this for loop this is for me documentation to know each loop okay and this should work good but this might give us a problem speed computers are really fast so the loop is going to be really fast and it's taken from the seconds so there is going to generate the same numbers let's say let's see if that is okay. What is it? What was the name of our file? File is rand. I didn't use the Apple file yet, but oh, I'll use it. I think this is an R. <clears throat> okay. File. <clears throat> File S rand. So that's there. Not CPP. So what's this? What am I putting here? Huh? Oh, it's not. There's an error. C S. Let's try to take that library out and see if it will work without it. C S T. What was that library? Was it dot H? I think so. Ok 
Okay. <coughs> I'm not sure if it would work without it, but let's see. It might. see this this is missing terminating okay there okay mm, this this is a semicolon here I'm gonna need and I think now we're ready to go mm. s rand is was not declared in this okay so let's look for the library for the srand cstd lib cstd cstd lib Okay, I'm going to take the 8 out. We don't need the 8 here. CSTD. So, library meaning. Let's see. Great, not declared in this scope. What did I declare it as? Okay. I put them all grades down there. Let's change this one. Um. <coughs> okay, it's, run, it's compiling. That's good news. Enter a number. Let's say five. Did you see? It gave us all the same numbers because it's really fast not even changing you see how quickly it print them so I need it to sleep for a while we have a function called sleep for sleep what library was it okay Unix ah oh. include STD H I think that's right uni STD H <coughs> so now what do I have here uni STD H H now I think it should work let's see daddy what are you doing Okay, I didn't put the sleep. Where am 
I gonna put the sleep? I want the delay to be. I did a nice round here. <coughs> Let's make it here. Sleep, and I want to delay it for one second. And save. Now it's gonna take a while to generate them. Let's see. And now if we compile again, we're gonna get new and let's put six <coughs> see each time we're getting new numbers and think of this this is gonna be representing what number of students I have six students first students has three subjects so he's gonna have three grades uh, second student he's gonna have one subject one grade third student five subjects five grades six subject six grades five five and I what I need to do now is write those to a file I wrote it to an output stream see out so here look at this don't here I'm entering the number of students which if you look let's take it here So now let's see what's going on here. So this is gonna enter the number of students. See in six students I'm gonna enter. Now I'm gonna go in a for loop to generate what? Number of subjects. So, uh, subject one subject, seven subject, one. And all that is gonna be random. So I'm using S rand time. Why so each time it will give me different result because remember this is not random. This is gonna seed it seed it with what the time of the computer seed with the seconds so for sure it's gonna be more randomized now we did that and uh, let's take this uh, uh, it's gonna do it number one to seven topics and here I'm printing subject like one subject this one the first number was random and I made it between one and seven I don't want that much subjects I don't want more than that much subjects and the second one was seven subjects the generate okay generated the first one now it comes in here it's gonna loop depending on how many subjects we generated here uh, from rand we got one now it's gonna loop one time generate one grade between what 50 and a hundred and I made it sleep a second why I wanted different seconds between what the seed the seed the loop is really fast and we saw how it generated the same numbers now I go and see out that grade I see out here the subject I see out here the grades so here I have subject one one subject this one and I have 86 this one now it loops back this is for the first to the second student it's gonna generate what well, how many subjects generated seven so seven now this loop is gonna loop seven times seven times and I'm gonna have the sleep on oh, seven seconds so this is gonna take about seven seconds grade equals rand and I'm gonna generate seven grades seven random grades I'm gonna output them to the screen then it's gonna loop back again third student it's gonna be one one subject one grade generated now it's gonna go to fourth student it's gonna have generate five subjects this is gonna be five now meaning this is gonna loop five times and generate 
Wow. Five random grades. And it keeps going. Here, where did I output them? I output them to the C out. So to change it, I declared uh, an output uh, output stream, which is out data. The out data, I need to open it so I can write to it. And I want to write those grades to it so I can use that file in another program to calculate uh, the average for each student so now what do I need to do I need to change small things I change this to what out data don't think of date uh, file streaming uh, that hard it's not that hard it's really easy whatever you have a C output and out data the file you want to write to it so instead of taking it to the output stream it's taking it to the file stream to the file stream it's writing to a file so let's do it again now and generate a grades did I save it no. so let's do clear compile and run and what did I say? name the file student stu.txt oh it's waiting for me sorry I thought I was gonna generate it I'm gonna take let's say six students now it's gonna generate six students each with different number of subjects and a grade for each subject why do you think the cursor is moving downwards so now let's go to a file and look for a file stu it's gonna be somewhere down here okay this one mm, didn't take the end line I need it to end line here so now it's gonna generate different numbers okay I can read it as one Why isn't it? it Finish this. It says to go to this. Why it didn't? It wrote it in the. Okay. We didn't take the C out as out data. See how. Um, so that's why the cursor was going down. So now save. And here I can make this fun and make it see out. I see out end line. Show me each student when it finishes writing to a file. Okay. Again, same problem. I'm, I'm waiting for. His second, third student finished. Fourth, fifth.
sixth student and now let's go to the seventh and let's go to the file and see what do I have see here I have five subjects five subjects five subjects five subjects three seven and six and here's the grades so now I need to read this from another program that will find the average for each student similar in a way to the one we took in class in the lab and let's go here so I need to read uh, how many subjects so I have integer subjects and I need to read uh, grade <coughs> for now what do I need I need average as well as float <coughs> and I need to declare and I'm gonna declare here an uh, input file stream input file stream in data name it and I'm gonna declare an output file stream and name it <coughs> out data I can do that so now but I need to open at least the uh, input file stream <coughs> And what did we name it there? So I'm gonna say in data dot open. I need to open a file before I start reading from it. So here I declared. Here I opened. I declared here a file. I opened a file. And here I'm gonna have stu dot txt. I'm gonna close it I don't need to open the output file it will generate it by itself remember reading we have to read from a data source well, I need to have data so now what do I need to do I'm gonna say you can say while in data not in data not in the file not in the file in data was it I think it was this not end of file in data or in data I think so but what well, I'm gonna use this is gonna print multiple lines at the end the last two couple of lines are going to be the same so what we use is like cn if I'm reading from what what am I going to read first what's the first thing I'm going to read it's a subject it's a sub uh, subject sorry so I'll have five here that's what which is cn subject and here I'll have in data my in stream I'm reading from a file not from cn not from the keyboard and here what I'll do is I'll get the first in data that's gonna be a integer i equals one that's gonna be looping for what to get the grades so I'm gonna have I is less or equal subject is gonna loop five times let's say and get five grades this is gonna be subject and now I'll say I plus plus and increment it so here's what's gonna happen here it's gonna read in data sub I'm gonna read it put it in sub what the first thing in the file is gonna be five now it knows that I'm gonna have what 
five grades oh you know you're gonna have five grades so I need to make a loop to calculate the average for those five grades so subject is gonna be how many times we're gonna loop so I'll say what well, but I need to read what well, the grades now so I'll say in data like a CN I'm gonna read what well, a grade put it in grade whatever I read from here which is 61 now it's gonna put it in grade what do I need to do add it to let's say total or I can use average but let's add it to total equals one and I'm gonna leave a small thing so you can I, I wanna see if you get it or no integer total no it's not the zero I'm gonna put the zero so don't think it's that it's hard, a little harder than that so anything it gets it gets a grade first grade gets it 61 add it to total so I'm gonna have total plus equal grade and this equals what total plus total equals total plus grade and I got the third the grade it's gonna keep looping getting all the other grades adding them to total I don't need to print total but I need to find average so I say see out, uh, see out average for student and I'm gonna have well here I can't put an in data let's create a counter I want a counter just to say student 1 and student 2 if I had the while loop as a for loop I couldn't do it easily see counter name it count equals 1 I'm gonna start with 1 and I'm gonna print here student 1 and let's write four five subjects for subject and and it's going to be small s it's going to be equal to and here i'm going to print what well, total so i don't need average i can do total okay now let's save it in average first so it can cast it so i'm gonna say here average equals float i'm gonna cast the total convert it to an integer so if i have an integer over an integer it doesn't give me an integer so now I'll have a float over an integer if I have total as integer and I divide it by subject with which is an integer that should give me what an integer but I want average average should always be uh, 
a float so we cast it using this way so it's gonna convert total to a float then it's gonna divide by subject so a float over a su uh, an integer is gonna give me a float and here I'll print average and what do I do after do I end line yes I can do end line and close the while loop so this is what this program is going to do I declared those variables up there subject grade average total count one and I need to increment count inside where count I can increment it here after the loop no but I need to increment it after I print so I'll have count plus plus this is just a counter to print student one student two student three so it's not a big deal but I added it so it looks good so here's what happening I declared an in, uh, input file stream it's gonna be in data I named it in data you can name it whatever you want this will be reading from a file and that stream is called in data in data instead of using CN which is reading from the keyboard and I declared an output stream which is out data you can put whatever name you want and now I declared the input and output stream I need to open the file I need to read from and what am I gonna read from the file what, that we generated earlier from the previous program random and I'm gonna read from stu.txt so I'm saying in data dot open and now here in data sub I'm starting to read so this is in data whatever I put here it's gonna go and take the first integer and it's gonna save it in sub if I put grade it's gonna take it's gonna take it it's gonna take five and put it in grade but I don't want that I want this to be the number of subject and it be stored in subject let's see so it's gonna read put five here five I have five sub four integer I I less or equal five so now I'm gonna read five grades I'm reading from the file end data from the file stream read 61 add it to total plus great so it's gonna go grab the 61 add it to total which is 0 and then loop again it's not gonna go here it's gonna loop again I is 2 now 2 is less than 5 get me the 75 add it to 61 total now is 61 plus 75 loops back I equals 3 3 is less than sub I read 56 56 I'll add it to 61 and 75 in total and I increment I loop again uh, 4 is less or equal sub and I'll take the grade 91 so I'll have total plus equal 91 and those three and I keep adding it then I'll find the total of each grade I'll divide them by the number of subject this will give me the average this will give me so here average is gonna take total and I'm gonna have float total divided by sub number of five here I have five subjects five grades think of them and now it's gonna print it increment saying student one student two and so let's save and run now and see what is it gonna give me did I output to where did I output to this is outputting to see out I can output also to my 
outstream which is what is it my outstream is out data so I'll change this C out to out data save is good I got it before so now let's do clear and what was the name of the file file stream no I don't think it was saved as CPP no it was oops std in data has incomplete type and cannot be defined if stream in data So what's the error here? Why in function main line fifteen? Okay. Um, Tools, documents. Okay, I just want to put the number of lines so I can see where the error is. Okay, so it's not like in this in file stream. Do I declare the file stream? Whoops. Okay. I didn't include the file stream. So now I'll save. Do I need to declare anything else? I don't think so. So I'll clear, compile and average was not declared I need to declare average okay I took a small letter I think I think so here so I'll change it to a so I'll have to change those two down there give the right name for the file to go read from <coughs> okay average for student one let's see if <coughs> okay remember I told you it's harder than total equals zero look at this why is it given me but let's check <coughs> what do I have here and I have calculator let's see calculator it's always better to check your results I have 61 plus 75 plus 56 plus 91 plus 86 and this equals divided by where's division divided by 5 equals 73.8 so that was right and I'm gonna see them printed in a file and here is saying student one four five subjects here they are but look at the second student it has an average of 159 do you think that's reasonable no because I'm gonna have five grades generated randomly and each grade is between zero, uh, 50 and 100. No way it will be one, 159. 
but what is happening? Who can tell? If you go here, look at this. You add it to total. After you finish, you did the average. Did you set total to zero? No. So I need to set total back to <coughs> zero so it can start taking the other students so it doesn't keep adding all the students with each other and this should work and now I'll do clear compile and run and here we go awesome looks good ready let's go check what did we name the file did we name an output file so okay let's go to the file I'm trying to think what did we name it? What is it? I read from STU, but where did I write to? I opened this. But I didn't declare here. Okay. I should put or oh, out data I should open it but even if it wasn't there it will create it and sorry about that guys so this is let's put it out stu dot txt and that's gonna be my output file and now I have to repeat all that so but Let's do it again. And let's see my output file. Same as we printed to the terminal, to the kernel. One of them was C out, and the other was to a file. One C out, and the other to a file. Here you go. And this is file streaming. This is file streaming, guys. It's not that hard, but know how to break it. First, I need to define a function. I need to open it. Then I need to start reading from it or writing to it depending you can put cnc out as if you think of it as a screen as you're outputting to a screen or reading from a keyboard don't complicate it that much and what else that should cover the, it should mostly cover it I think that was good so now I'm gonna get to you with another video a couple of videos also for to so and the assignments guys really important for the final really important for the final